I'm hey. Jeremiah. I'm Brittany. I'm Trenton. Um, we had an ideal of an app that helps you kind of uh, put yourself out there, put a um, personal interaction back into uh, back into the social social aspect of things. There's a lot of social media out there, but less so um, actually shaking hands and meeting people. And so we wanted to use the LinkedIn platform where it's pretty much a professional um, Facebook and we wanted to combine that with something that help people get out there and meet people who have the same uh, interests, likes, or um, field of work. Okay, so we are as you can tell, we're called Linked Up, um, and we're using two APIs, one from LinkedIn and Meetup, which you guys can tell that's how we came up with the name Linked Up. Um, so what is Linked Up? Linked Up is an app, of course, like Jeremiah said, that helps you find meetups using data collected from your LinkedIn profile when you log in. And so how it works is that it's using a mashup of APIs um, where we're able to connect you with meetups. Um, so uh, with the data collected from your LinkedIn and we use like your industry and your location to kind of target what um, you're interested in. And like mine would be, I think mine is um, public communications. And so it uses that and to search, you know, what's around me using the location which is targeted by the You're going to link up with potential business partners, employees, employers. Um, you can just make a friend uh, in the industry. Um, this is an opportunity to kind of like find someone else who might be taking the untraditional coding educational route and ask them about what worked for them or what didn't work for them, what's working for them and what's not working for them. Or you can meet up, go to a meetup and just, it can be totally informal at a Starbucks coffee, um, coffee shop and you're just talking about you know, whatever you're interested in. It can be uh, gaming or computer software development or um, social services, whatever you're, you're interested in. And it just kind of takes the stress away from actually having to slide in somebody's DMs. That's, that's sure. a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> when you're kind of sending someone a message on, on social media and you don't quite know them. It's a cold interaction. No one's introduced you. You have to wait for someone to kind of introduce you. This is a chance where you can show up. You don't have to say who you are, what your title is, but hey, everyone's here, everyone's interested in this. Let's just have an open forum of dialogue about it. And um, so we hope that kind of helps you understand, hey, this can apply to anyone in any field and it's useful. Um, and also with that, to piggyback on what you said, um, for me, moving here from Oklahoma, I've only been here for five months. So it's essentially easier for me to just log in and go straight to my LinkedIn, which it grabs all the information, like I said before, and then it just tells me what's around me um, that you know I might be interested in, so I can meet with potential business partners, or employees, employers, and, you know, make connections with friends because I mean, essentially, I'm new to this place and I don't know everyone, so it just makes it easier. Yeah. So we pretty much answer where we link. I mean, anywhere really. Um, so one of the challenges with what we wanted to accomplish, um, where we have to find out, how do we find out where the user is gonna, gonna wanna link at? And um, before we were getting worldwide results, which which is fine on, on a global scale, um, but we wanted to narrow it down to to near close to where you are. So um, Trent can tell you kind of about how we did that and why we did it that way. First we started out trying to get the location from the LinkedIn profile, but that's a bit vague. The details you get in, say, like, Greater Seattle area or something, it's harder to geolocate where it is. So we ended up just using the user's device's IP address and geolocating that with a geolocation API. And if you're in New York, but you're going to be in Seattle, and you're like, I'm going to be in Seattle, I want to check out some it's tech startup week in Seattle, I want to know what's going on, but I'm in New York right now. You're only going to get New York. Uh, results at the moment, but um, soon we're going to have a feature where you can we can uh, 
customly enter in your zip code or the zip code of where you're going, and then you can find out what's going on and where you're going to be. Um, yep. Want to tell them why we need it? Yeah. Um, I mean, everything is online now. Like I said before, it makes it easier for you to kind of network and get to know people and just to go out and to, you know, meet people, face-to-face -face interactions uh, with people in the same industry and the same likes that you guys have. So. Um, that's essentially why you need it. And it's just easier. I mean, you don't have to like go between, like, you don't have to get on the up and just kind of, you know, I'll explain that to you later when we log in. So, we're going to log in now, which takes us to LinkedIn, and it's already signed up to Jeremiah's account. Um, now, access, and it automatically should send you to the results page. So, we're going to reach you. Um, I mean, your name and not a number, so we want you to know that we recognize who you are in the industry and things like that. So, hello, Jeremiah. This is below. Yes, you know. So, um, and like I said, in the near future, we can add your profile picture up there. We can do all kinds of things like that. But we just want this to be a neat. I mean, we're not creating anything new. We just want to enhance the technology we have linked up, meet up, meet up and meet in. Um, so yeah, my my industry is going to be computer software. So all of this. Uh, we get about 10 results, and under each result, we have the time, the location, uh, and another important uh, stat is the number of people attending, because um, it kind of lets you know what kind of meetup this is going to be. Some of them are going to have 50, you have know, 105, scroll down to this one, I'm interested in this one here. Yeah, so there's 24 <laughs> people here going here. I'm just going to show up to that one and just say, hey, what's going on? Because I don't know. I know it's in my industry, but, you know, whatever. But this one has eight, so this might be at a coffee shop. So you kind of gauge in what am I going to wear. Um, and if you want to get into the, in order to go to these meetups, you, I mean, of course, you'll click, and it'll take you to meetup.com's website where you, you'll then sign up. And some of them are private events where you have to RSVP. Some of them are, are not so private. You can just share it. Add it to your calendar, find out more about it. And this is here, um, but meetup.com is very, very uh, vague in the meetup. So we just kind of wanted to cater to those with professional profiles online who need some, uh, some face time. And just to piggyback on what he said again, um, if you're not necessarily signed into meetup, then it will not, like on this one, it won't show the location because you have to sign in and RSVP in order to get the location. For certain ones. For certain ones. So, not to freak out about that one. They are near you, though. Yes. They're close. Close by. Can we see <laughs> the elk stack? What did you say? Elk stack? Yeah. Elk stack. Yeah. And that looks like it's going to be a year or a year. Yeah. Check that one. Okay. So, Jim Fink is a Principal product manager of Amazon Web Services Security. So, this is his game. Um, yeah. So, if you're interested in the Elk stack, I've never heard of an Elk stack. It's probably because I don't know a lot about it right now. But, yeah, dive in, sign up, Dan, if you want to go, and all right, see what that's about. Um, biggest challenge, um, I mean, thinking of the app was cool, it's a cool idea, but actually, but making it happen, the biggest challenge was uh, how are we going to do this? Like, what do we want it to look like? Um, yeah, um, the ideal is there. Take take this data, mix it, uh, and add that to the meetup search, render some more data. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to tell you our main functional, our MVP will be that login button. Um, that's going to do it all for you. That's, that's where most of our code was.
was um, creating a table and trying to put everything in a table. And so um, we just kind of made it a list, which I think it looks better to me, yeah. um, having it in a list and making it more um, visual. Because um, at first we had blue as the, the text, and so yellow is more inviting and bright, and you guys can see it. And, yeah. Making it user friendly. Um, so, it pulls from the LinkedIn API as far as your uh, your industry. Is that from like your previous jobs or something you put on LinkedIn? What you put on, like okay. what? Yeah, I'll have a. Oh, uh, that's up here. Which one? Bar, yeah, that okay. one. And just go to the profile ask, or you can keep it here. Um, so, you could have used this title, right. but. Um, uh, you can put anything in there. You can say professional juggler, professional smuggler, whatever. <laughs> That's going to be hard to kind of find, uh, to kind of match the criteria of our uh, data search. So we will look at industry. And if you click on the industry, Brittany, uh, um, it's, there's a limited list of industries you can have. Uh -huh. Okay. And, yeah. And before uh, our search, we just take the first word. Um, we have to kind of uh, edit our code so we can space and read the next word and get the yeah. actual what it's saying. But yeah, so that's that's what we're searching from, Danish. Then we're taking first, last name. I mean, there's ways that, I mean, I was playing with it that you can go through the summary and get it, but I don't know how to, we didn't get to get keywords out of it, but there, there's a lot of potential with this app and what you can what you do with it, but ultimately you want to take Start all over again. What would you do differently? Um, now that you know. <laughs> Let's start with the app. Okay. And we can move move outward from there. Well, I know Trent worked on um, which we kind of helped did a lot of their programming together. And so we worked mainly on the grabbing the API and it took him like is the, we're originally going to use the LinkedIn API to log you in, but eventually I had to use a wrapper because the way that they secure the logging in is like a maze of access tokens and API keys that you have to go through to get to it, and some of them aren't giving anything back when requested. So, yeah, just the wrapper ended up being the best choice and made it a lot easier. Um, if I had to do anything differently, um, I think I like how it came together. I mean, I feel like we focused a lot on the structure of things first, and then the little things like the size of the font, the um, background and stuff. That was just kind of just the icing on the cake. But um, definitely focusing on what that logout button does was like, very, um, it was priority, and I just thought we started with that. I don't know if we can change anything about that. Maybe a different picture in the background. I don't know. I like how we did this. I like the, but, we tried to do the, or we wanted to do a mobile kind of like meetup video in the background, but it was just, there was a lot going on at once, and so um, just not a super picture. So I think that, and just brighten it. There was a lot of compromise, which we learned in the groups when we started off, is just finding each other's strengths and weaknesses, and kind of working with that and seeing how can we learn from each other, um, and then, of course, compromising at the end. Yes. What was each of your biggest takeaway from the project? Actually understanding the coding. <laughs> Um, I mean, we've been working on this, uh, learning for like six weeks, and then had two weeks to initially come up with everything. And so I feel like once we put all the pieces together, and as we were putting it together, it actually made sense as we were going along. Instead
instead of just taking like one small piece and like trying to figure out, that's my biggest takeaway from that, is learning that and learning more from Trey and how his brain works. I learned a lot about the meetup API with how many hours I spent reading video <laughs> documentation, trying to find the right endpoints to use for the right information. Um, the day before thinking of the ideal for this app, um, that night I, I went to a site and found a bunch of I, uh, APIs and just kind of ran wild with ideas of how we can combine them and things like that. And um, just kind of reminded me that you know everything's there, you just have to make it do what you want to do. And it's not going to know to do, it's not going to meet you halfway. So like Jim had to be a bunch of documentation for the meetup. I learned a lot about, okay, it's not the same process for every API, every site. LinkedIn had some uh, extra precautionary steps because we're dealing with people's personal data. And then Meetup is vague, like anybody shows up, anybody signs up, it's okay, come on. So just, um, with me, it was, you can never let go of paying attention to detail and, um, and order, it's, there's no one order of operation when it comes down to dealing with different sites, they're, they're so different. Um, so just staying flexible, being, being able to those resources always because we can't remember all this stuff. So um, my biggest takeaway was like that process of putting the APIs together, going from having an idea to making it happen. It's it took some work, you know, some late nights, even even with the CSS, like just actually uh, feeling good about what you're doing and, and wanting to come out a certain way. Yeah, all that. And starting small and then kind of making it work and then tweaking and kind of making it, like you said, do what you want to do.